Hi guys, welcome back to a, another video. I thought I'd just quickly go through some of the some of the more unique components going into the uh, case lads build I'm doing. It is going to be slightly delayed. Um, I'm have another one, maybe two projects coming up. Uh, so just just before they're going to start, um, that's going to be pretty full on. So I just thought I'd go over some of the gear for the case lads. Uh, so first off, I've got these cables from a company called uh, Mod Guru. They're relatively new. Uh, they do all custom sleeving, they do your LED RGB strips, and they also do your uh, controllers as well. So the good thing about these controllers, uh, they are RF rather than your line of sight ones. So I'll show you later on how you can point these anywhere and they'll still work. Um, so yeah, so the theme of this uh, case that's built, it's the uh, TH10A, so it's a double wide, humongous one. I've got the 100mm extended top. So I should be re receiving that soon, but um, I can't focus too much on it once these other builds start. So I thought I'll do as many videos as I can now. Um, so yeah, I got the custom sleeve. So the main theme of this build is probably, I'm probably gonna paint, get the case probably painted white. I might do it myself, but uh, I kind of want a more durable sort of a, sort of a car type of paint. So I might get um, someone I know who can get them done at a body shop and it'll be a really nice finish. I do like the paint most of mine, but I think this time I will get it professionally done. So these are the cables that I got made up from ModGuru. So these are a really nice gold uh, sleeve. So these are the um, the GPU ones. So this is a eight and a six with a uh, nice little curve on it. We'll just plug it into this uh, Strix 980. So they also did the uh, the cable combs as well. So these are just the clip-on ones, and then you've got the nice curve there, like that. So you can see how sweet they would look in a build. Uh, I just got the one set done because um, I'm really not sure on the GPU, so I was just going to leave it at one because this is more my uh, my rendering machine, so I really don't have a lot of room for uh, for video cards, even though this is the board I'm using, this humongous one. I do have, like, I don't know if you saw the pics recently, I do have a couple of RAID cards, a sound card, 10 gigabit network card, so I think I have all of this. I would not be able to use two, uh, two, two slot GPUs, so that's why I'm just sort of sticking to one at this stage. So we've got the 24 pin done as well. You can see the really nice, the really nice sleeve. So I've gone with the gold and white, and then we've got uh, two EPS. So this board needs. Uh, I don't really like the white connectors on this board, but uh, got to do what you got to do. I could replace them, but huh, it's not really worth it. So then that's it on the board like that, and then that's in. So I do like it how all the connectors go uh, from the top of the board. So if you're in a top of the case, you really don't see too too much of the uh, connector. Same with the 24 pin, which is up there as well. But um, I've had this board for a couple of years now, nearly going on two years. It's a really great board. Haven't had any issues at all. And I've also thrown in uh, 32 gigs of uh, a Vexia. This is the Blitz 101. Uh, sorry, not the Blitz 101. This is the Core Series. So this will light up the blue um, random patterns on that one. All right, so that's the uh, that's the extensions done move over to more of the uh, other cool products that they do. So they do these uh, RGB lighting kits. Now I'm used to the old ones that have the humongous box. These ones are your more slim down version. You can see the remote, how to connect it. Everything's all there. Uh, so some of the extra things these th they've thrown in, are uh, they've thrown in a splitter. So you can run this straight from the controller box like so. Uh, you just got to line up the arrows with the red dot. I don't know if you can see that. Line it up there and now you've got three Three strips can be run off this, line up the arrows again. Um, you can get these little bits which come in handy, the little joining bits. So you can put them back in like that. And now I can add another strip, join up the arrows with the arrows. If I can find it. All right, so that's got two strips on now. And I've even got a spare third one as well if I want. So now you get this little bit, which converts it from Molex to the, the DC. And they simply plugged it into there for the DC bit, and now you've got your. So this is pretty much your controller. I've got my three strips there. So pretty much all I need to do now is plug this into a power source. So if I grab my Molex 24 pin, on 24 pin, my Molex 4 pin. Just gotta get that lined up. Okay, so that's it there. So now because this is our RF, I don't need to have this anywhere, the controller anywhere near sight. I could put this behind uh, the motherboard anywhere I want. I'm just trying to get this one to line up so we can see. All right, so I turn it on. All right, so I might turn a light off for this. See if that did anything. All right, so now we've got our 
I would say that's probably pink. Don't know how well it's coming up on the uh, on the, the camera there. So it's not as in depth as the other controllers. Just let me find the other remote. All right, so these are the more conventional ones I'm used to. These ones here. So that's got sort of all your colors and your sort of your sort of a color wheel. Whereas this one, so yeah, these, these remotes don't work at all anymore. So this one's more slimline. And if you want your color, it just goes through a cycle. So you can go color up. So it's slightly changing colors, blue, light blue, blue. So there's three three colors per color. So there's a light green, a darker green, a slightly, I think we're going lighter actually. So there's a three greens and you got white. I'm not sure what that is. A blue, a dark blue, red, dark blue, green, pink, blue. And then we go through, yeah, so there's a ton of colors. Now we can go into the uh, different modes. So if we do demo, it's just gonna go through a random demo of uh, different things. So now it's blinking through each color and it's probably gonna do something else, I would imagine. Um, it'll probably go faster or change different patterns. Let's skip out of that. So let's just go through the mode. So this is a mode where it's just going, sliding through. You can speed this down like that, or I can speed it up. Let's see how fast we can go. There we go, so that's like a schizo one right there. So we'll turn it down a bit. All right, so that's more normal. Uh, so we'll slow it down. We'll go uh, mode one again. So this is kind of jumping through different ones. Mode again. This is, I don't know, just red flashing. And this is like two, two flashing. Uh, I'm probably not gonna go through all the modes because there's a heap you can do here. And then if you, the ones I normally like is a fade. I'm not sure if there's a fade on here. Um, yeah, there we go. So if you have the fades and you have that in your system, it goes through a really nice fade pattern and you can also do the brightness up and down. So I can put it up or I can go all the way down, which is, see it's nearly all the way down until it's just about off. It probably looks the same on the camera and you can just hold this down, goes all the way up. Oh, you can actually see that go all the way down and all the way up. So yeah, you can definitely change it around like that so um so yeah if you hop onto their their website um i'll throw that up in in the bottom it's www.modguru.something um i'll throw that up you can ha you can have a look now these cables are very reasonably I'm not sure what the prices of the um the leds are um but i was looking at the prices on the uh, extension cables and they're actually really cheap they just start around 10 bucks or something which uh that's in pounds so they're a little bit more in uh in Australian, but they are all custom made. Remember, you can get the different color ends, uh, any sleeve you want. Uh, just shoot them a message on their website. Uh, they are much more better quality than the Bitfinex ones. Uh, they are more of a stiffer plastic sleeve, but um, they are getting the um, the paracord type in, which is a more flexible. So they're really good for the uh, running straight from your power supply. Because if you have these ones, replace your power supply leads. They do get a bit hard to kind of bend around. So these ones are best for the. Uh, best for the extension so um, that's pretty much it on this video uh, i just wanted to show you some of the uh, things we're doing on this case that's built and thanks for watching and stay tuned for next time